Welcome to our channel. This video is part of a series based on the CITB book called Health, Safety and Environment Test for Operatives and Specialists. We guarantee that watching these videos is all you need to do to prepare for your final test. In each video, we will briefly cover a section's key points and then ask questions directly from the CITB book. This video focuses on Section 8, Health and Welfare. To make it easy to move through the video series, you will find a link in the top right corner. The actual CSCS test usually takes about 45 minutes, and you need to answer at least 45 out of 50 questions correctly to pass. Before we dive in, please support us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. We appreciate it. Let us learn together. If you are under the influence of alcohol, drugs or prescribed medication, it can make you feel drowsy, slow your reaction times and affect your judgment. This will increase the risk of an accident at work. Long working hours or poorly designed shift work schedules can result in fatigue. If you are suffering from fatigue, you are more likely to have an accident at work. Fatigue can result in an increase in errors in the workplace. Stress is defined as the adverse reaction people have to excessive pressures or demand placed on them. Stress can affect anyone. A lack of concentration, anger and sleep problems are all warning signs. Stress at work can have a negative effect on your mental well-being. If you are concerned about a colleague's mental health, speak to them about it. Talking and listening to people without judgment can help to overcome negative attitudes to mental health in the workplace. If you feel that you are having mental health issues, you should ask for help as early as possible. Talking about mental health issues is a good way of helping to manage them. Exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun is one of the main causes of skin cancer in the construction industry. You are less likely to have an accident if your work area is clean and tidy. Adequate lighting and good housekeeping will reduce the risk of slips and trips. If the welfare facilities on site are not adequate or are dirty, report the issue to your supervisor. It is good practice to have access to a telephone and a means of raising the alarm if you are working alone. A worker is taking medication which could affect their health and safety in the workplace and that of others. What should they do? Tell their manager. Work harder on site. Go and see their doctor. Take regular breaks. When an employee returns to work after an absence due to illness, what should they speak about with their employer? The details of the illness to make sure no one else can catch it. The effects of medication they are taking which could affect safety at work. The number of times they have visited their doctor before returning to work. Any treatment costs they have to pay to help them get back to work. What action should shift workers take at work if they are taking time-dependent medication such as insulin? Ask colleagues to help them remember when to take their medication. Consult their doctor and inform their manager to help plan how to accommodate this. Only work shifts after they have taken their required medication. Not tell their colleagues each time they need to take their medication during the shift. How should absence records containing specific medical information relating to an employee be treated? Confidentially, in accordance with data protection laws. As public information, in accordance with freedom of information. The records can be shared with the workforce as long as they do not say anything. Provided to the rest of the workforce to prevent others taking time off. If your doctor has given you some medication, which of these questions is the most important to ask? Will it make me unsafe to work or operate machinery? Will it make me work more slowly and earn less money? 
Will it cause me to oversleep and be late for work? Will I fail a drugs test if my employer asks for one? If you suspect someone at work has been drinking alcohol, what should you do? Ask them to stay away for an hour and then go back to work. Get them to drink plenty of strong coffee before they go back to work. Report the situation to your supervisor as they may be unsafe to work. Get them to eat and drink something, wait 30 minutes and then go back to work. What are the minimum facilities that must be provided on site for washing your hands? A cold water standpipe and paper towels. A water container, bowl and paper towels. There is no need to provide washing facilities. Hot and cold water, soap and a way to dry your hands. What are two ways of reducing the risk of transferring hazardous substances from your hands to your mouth? Wearing protective gloves while you are working. Washing your hands before eating. Putting barrier cream on your hands before eating. Washing protective gloves before each use. Using barrier cream for working activities. What should you use to clean very dirty hands? Soap and water. Thinners. White spirit. Paraffin. What should you do if there is nowhere on site to wash your hands? Wait until you get home, then wash them. Go to the local public toilets and use their wash basin. Speak to your supervisor or the site manager about the problem. Nothing, as the site does not have to provide washing facilities. Why should you not use white spirit or other solvents to clean your hands? They could block the pores of the skin. They will remove several layers of skin. They could strip the protective oils from the skin. They could carry harmful bacteria that attack the skin. What is the main issue with using barrier cream to protect your skin? It costs too much to use every day. It can be broken down by some substances. It is difficult to wash off. It can irritate your skin and give you dermatitis. When should you apply barrier cream to your skin? Before you start work. When you finish work. As part of first aid treatment. When you can't find your gloves. What can cause occupational dermatitis? Using tools that vibrate. Contact with another person who has dermatitis. Contact with some strong chemicals or substances. Working in the sun without sun cream. What condition can be caused by direct sunlight on bare skin? Dermatitis. Rickets. Acne. Skin cancer. To help protect outdoor workers from the risk of skin cancer from sun exposure, what should be worn? Low-factor tanning oil and short-sleeved shirts. High-factor sunscreen and long-sleeved clothing. Extra moisturiser on the face and short-sleeved shirts. A small amount of deodorant and vest tops. Prolonged exposure to sunlight could cause what? Hair loss, burns, abrasion, dental issues.
When referring to protection, what is a high UV rate cream designed to protect you from? Dermatitis, Legionella, Sunburn, Abrasions. What is the most likely source of hepatitis in this image? How does tetanus, an infection that you can catch from contaminated land or water, get into your body? Through your nose when you breathe. Through an open cut in your skin. Through your mouth when you eat or drink. Through the pores in your skin. What is the main risk to this worker? wearing only these items of personal protective equipment, PPE. Damage to hearing, eye injuries, breathing in harmful dust, cuts and abrasions to skin. Reducing the risk of cuts and abrasions would require protection for what part of the body? Bones, blood, hair, skin. Which disease is most likely to be caught through cuts, grazes or puncture wounds? Tetanus, dermatitis, legionella, cancer. Select the two images in which the worker is correctly protecting themselves from possible cuts or abrasions. Carrying with no gloves, washing no gloves. Scraping with gloves, scrubbing no gloves, painting with gloves. Which animal is the most likely carrier of Viles disease, leptospirosis, on construction sites? Rabbits, rats, squirrels, cats. If your doctor says that you contracted Viles disease, leptospirosis, on site, why do you need to tell your employer? Your employer has to warn your colleagues not to go near you. It must be reported to the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. Your employer will need to call pest control to remove rats on site. The site on which you contracted it will have to be closed down. In what situation are you most likely to catch Viles disease, leptospirosis? If you work near wet ground, waterways or sewers. If you work near air conditioning units. If you work fixing showers or baths. If you drink water from a standpipe. What other illness can be easily confused with the early signs of Viles disease, leptospirosis? Dermatitis, diabetes, hay fever, influenza, flu. Fatigue could affect work rates of a worker. What does this mean? They will be able to work faster as they will have lots of energy. They will work consistently as there are no issues. They will work at the same rate but will need monitoring. They will work more slowly as they will feel tired. What type of work is most likely to result in fatigue? New and challenging. Repetitive and monotonous. Exciting and enjoyable. Quiet and interesting. Being satisfied with your job can lead to what? Feeling less stressed at work. Feeling unpopular at work. Feeling more stressed at work.
feeling less happy at work. Which one of the following is most likely to cause stress at work? Job satisfaction but fear of redundancy. A lack of job security and fear of redundancy. Job security and a permanent contract. A lack of job security but a permanent contract. How can physical stress of a job be reduced? Repetitive actions when working. Job rotation and task variation. Making equipment challenging to use. An increase in pay for the same job. If a worker is feeling symptoms or showing signs of stress at work, what should they do? Speak to someone they trust like a friend or someone independent. Arrive and start work at a later time. Tell the rest of the team about their problems. Eat or drink more during the day. Which statement about mental health is true? It always has an obvious cause. It can have no obvious cause. It is always caused by stress. It is never caused by stress. Who has a duty to protect an individual from stress at work? The union. The government. The local authority. The employer. What is the organisation the Samaritans, a charity that provides emotional support for people who are struggling to cope. A political party which supports looking after vulnerable people. A trade union organisation offering financial and legal support. A charity offering construction training to young, vulnerable people. Loss of appetite, fatigue and tearfulness are common symptoms of what? Mental health issues or stress. Hand-arm vibration syndrome. Repetitive strain injury and back pain. Skin problems such as dermatitis. Which one of the following statements about mental health is true? Mental and physical health are directly linked. Mental health is all about our intelligence. Mental health has to do with our general knowledge. Mental health is all about how we think and remember things. Which one of the following statements is true? People experiencing mental health problems tend to be violent or dangerous. Mental health problems are common and can happen to anyone. Learning difficulties and mental health problems are the same. Mental health problems are rare among construction workers. Which one of the following is good advice for helping to cope with stress? Get enough rest. Drink more alcohol. Work longer hours. Keep it to yourself. A worker is suffering stress caused by their line manager. What should they do? Get another job that will be less demanding. Try to work faster to keep the manager happy. Find and follow the company procedures to address it. Complain to their manager. Which one of the following is true of the symptoms of stress? They are the same for everybody. They can be different for each individual. They always develop very quickly. They take a while to develop. MIND is a charity that does what? Provides advice and support to empower anyone experiencing a mental health problem. 
provides housing for retired construction workers, represents people who are very intelligent and want to improve their IQ, controls and monitors health and safety in the workplace. What sort of rest area should your employer provide on site? A canteen serving food, drinks, and cold sandwiches. A covered area with some comfortable chairs and running water. A covered area, chairs, and a way to boil water and heat food. Employers don't have to provide rest areas as long as rest breaks are provided. Which one of the following must be provided on site? Snacks, drinking water, free transport home, breakfast. Rest areas on site should be equipped with which of the following? Settees and chairs, televisions and tables, seating and radio, seating and tables. How can everyone on site help keep rats away? Put rat traps and poison around the site. Ask the local authority to put down rat poison. Throw food scraps over the fence or hoarding. Put all food and drink rubbish into bins provided. Which of the following is true of clearing waste to maintain a tidy site? Clearing waste should be carried out at the end of a shift. Construction workers are not responsible for clearing waste. Construction sites are dirty anyway and do not need clearing. Clearing waste should be a continuous process. When absorption granules from a spill kit have been used on oil, what action should be taken? Clear them up and place them in a sealed waste bag ready for specialist disposal. Leave them on the oil for a few days before clearing it into the general waste. Clear them up straight away and put them into a general waste skip. Use water to help clean up excess oil before specialist disposal. When should an oil spill be cleaned up? At the end of the shift, when it has dried, never it will be absorbed into the ground. Immediately, it could cause someone to slip. What is the most important reason for keeping your work area clean and tidy? To help prevent slips, trips and falls. It saves time cleaning up at the end of the week. So that waste skips can be emptied more often. To recycle waste and help the environment. A worker creates offcuts on site. Who is responsible for clearing them away? The worker. The supervisor. The site manager. The foreman. The ground has become muddy on site. What could be done to prevent the ground becoming slippery? Treat the surface with salt. Treat the surface with gravel. Improve lighting. Improve signage. A work task results in cables from power tools running across a walkway. What action should be taken? While working, look out for anyone approaching to warn them. Think about cancelling the job because it is too dangerous. Consider using cordless tools or running the cables at high level. Put up signs that the fire escape is out of order temporarily. Fatigue may be a result of what? Good work-life balance. 
good sleeping patterns, a healthy diet, working long hours. What would be a good way of reducing fatigue in the workforce? Regular start and finish times, early start times and a late finish, rotating shift patterns, random start and finish times. What can help to reduce fatigue? Going to the gym less, taking regular breaks at work, drinking alcohol after work, eating larger meals during break times. If a worker is feeling stressed, when is the best time for them to address the issue? When they have finished work and they are away from the workplace. As soon as they realize they have symptoms of stress. Only after the stress level gets so bad it causes an accident. In about six months, if the issue is still causing them stress. What is the best way for a worker to avoid becoming stressed because of an overload of work? Speak openly and regularly with their manager or employer about workloads. Put up with the extra work, but make sure overtime is paid. Only do what is manageable because someone else will pick up the extra. Make sure they take medication before going to work. What is one sign that employees are feeling stressed at work? Increased productivity on site. Fewer accidents on site. Long-term staff retention rates. High staff turnover rates. Which of the following can be an indicator of stress? Inability to deal with usual workload. Increased productivity. Feeling valued at work. Feelings of confidence at work. Which of the following are common mental health issues? Paralysis and halitosis. Hand-arm vibration syndrome. Depression and anxiety. Dermatitis, skin irritation. If a worker confides in a colleague that they have suffered from a mental health issue, what should the colleague do? Let other colleagues know so they can avoid working with them. Treat them as they would any other work colleague. Inform the site supervisor and first aider. Do their work for them because they might not be able to cope. When might people suffering with mental health issues need help at work? When their site supervisor or manager says so. They will regularly need help to avoid them having a panic attack. Up to once a week to take some of the strain off them as and when a situation arises in which help is needed. Lone workers are most at risk from what? Violence. Paranoia. Sleeplessness. Humiliation. Who should drive company vehicles? Anyone with a learner driver permit. Any employee who is competent and authorised. Any construction site manager or supervisor. Any junior apprentice workers. A worker with a full UK driving licence has been asked to move a machine they have never been trained on. What should the worker do? They can move the machine as they have a full UK driver's licence. Move the machine as long as there is no one else near it. Explain that they are not trained and competent to move it. Move the machine as long as there is a vehicle marshaller.
Congratulations! You are a step closer to success. Keep learning until you reach your goal. You can find a link in the top right corner to go to the next video.